A $71 million high rise slated for downtown Fort Wayne has generated a lot of excitement. Experts say it hit the bullseye when it comes to spurring more downtown development. News Channel 15's Adam Widener continues our coverage after yesterday's announcement, and he's live now tonight at Wayne and Harrison with the story. Well, you've heard the phrase, if you build it, they will come, right? Downtown development is more like, if you come, they will build it. Getting more people to live and work downtown is part of the new reason for the new building. And that's why experts say this is exactly what downtown needs. It's too cool. When it comes to the new high rise on tap, Adam Garland could hardly hold back excitement. The self proclaimed urbanite has lived and worked in downtown Fort Wayne for five years and doesn't even own a car. Yeah, I just ride a bike everywhere. I just want to live as sustainable as possible and I just don't don't need a car. It's, it's so small and so flat, it's just easy to get everywhere. Garland is on the front end of the growing trend of urban living across the country. It's part of the reason local insurance company Ash Brokerage is moving its headquarters downtown into the new building. Hanning and Bean will invest in space for apartments, condos, townhouses, and a parking garage. Oh, I think it's a game changer for, down, for downtown Fort Wayne. But there's still a void to be filled with downtown development. Retailers. Here's John Stafford with IPFW. Retail will come as that customer base grows. So I think to a degree there needs to be some patience. So it seems for now patience is something Garland and others will have to add to their downtown wish list. Besides the Trader Joe's in the grocery store, I'd say just bike lanes everywhere. Um, honestly, it needs some retail, but honestly, it just needs people. We just need people to be here and people who are excited to be here. Soon, this block behind me in the corner of Wayne and Harrison will be under construction. Construction is slated to begin March of next year. We're live downtown. Adam Widener, News Channel 15.